Welcome back guys. <clears throat> I had a few requests to uh, do a video discussing uh, multi-booting and <clears throat> how I, what what strategy or what, what uh, method I use uh, for multi-booting. And so I'm going to go over a couple of things. Now let me show you the grub screen for my for this particular system that I'm on now. <clears throat> now I am in Manjaro XFCE, as you can see. Um, and if I I took a picture of the grub screen when I boot up, and as you can see, the controlling uh, distribution is Manjaro XFCE. <clears throat> the reason I do that is because. Uh, just until recently, Manjaro did not allow you to not install Grub. Uh, Manjaro, up until maybe, I guess, about six months ago or so, um, Manjaro would try to control the Grub booting process. It would um, automatically install itself into your master boot record. And so, <clears throat> rather than fight it, I used it to my advantage, and I would always have Manjaro since I, I love Manjaro and so <clears throat> I'm always using Manjaro so it makes sense uh, given all those circumstances that I allow Manjaro to control the grub process. So let's go down the list. Now Manjaro is loaded into the master boot record and it controls booting. Um, on I also have Magia 5 MX15 this is uh, an install of Midfinger's Arch uh, <clears throat> Distro, uh, his spin that he released <clears throat> a while back. Um, and he passed away recently, and uh, I was very sad to hear that. Um, Midfinger was a really classy guy, always helpful, uh, and he knew so much about Arch Linux, and he was never reluctant to pass along that knowledge so um, you will be missed uh, Dan his, his real first name was Dan so I have Arch Midfinger uh, installed on SDB7 followed by Linux Lite which I'll talk about in a little bit more detail um, and then Arch uh, this here is a is a uh, plain vanilla Arch install uh, and so that one there I use quite a bit. That one was installed from scratch and it's in, it's just the way I like it. Then I have Peppermint 7 which is fantastic and this is Ubuntu 1604. It happens to be Zubuntu because I prefer the XFCE desktop environment most of the time. And I also have Windows on this machine so if I want to boot Windows I just go all the way down the bottom to the Windows Boot Manager. Now in addition I have another 128 gigabyte SSD that I use for booting Mac OS X. Uh, so I did build this machine as a Hackintosh machine and I have uh, Mac OS X running um, on a separate disk. It doesn't show up in this boot manager um, but when I want to run Mac OS 10 all I do is hit my F11 key during boot. I go to the uh, BIOS and then I select that drive from in the within the BIOS to boot and I go into Mac OS 10. So I've got a lot going on in this particular system. Now let me talk a little bit about Linux Lite. Linux Lite normally wants to control the booting process. So up until recently when I whenever I installed Linux Lite it would automatically load itself into the master boot record and take control this particular install it wanted to do it um, but for some reason during the install grub and the, the grub installation failed and so when I it asked me if I wanted to continue which I did and then when I rebooted I went to Manjaro I did I ran OS Prober and then I ran update grub and Linux Lite showed up and it actually booted 
so I left it there uh, but Linux Lite is another one that tries to control the boot process now more and more distributions are allowing you during install to opt out of the grub installation and so um, MX15 I believe was one of the first ones to do that um, and so I believe that's what they should do they should give you the option whether or not you want to install grub or not and that way you can control the multi-booting within your particular system so that's basically the philosophy and the strategy that I use when I um, add distributions to this machine if I want to for example if I'm done reviewing a, uh, a distribution and I'm not going to use it on a daily basis I will just replace it and during my next install I will just designate the petition that I want to install the new distribution to and I also opt out or I elect not to install grub that way the install finishes it does not install grub I can boot into Manjaro run OS Prober and update grub and I'm back in business and then the new distribution will show right on here right on my list makes it much easier so guys uh, that is it in a nutshell if you have any questions put them into the um, put them into the comments and I'll try to answer all of the questions as I usually do so guys uh, thanks for stopping by the channel please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care